In this example, I'm going to be reading through the second section, which is called Subcurrency Example, simplest form of a cryptocurrency. It is possible to generate coins out of thin air, but only the person that created the contract will be able to do that. It is trivial to implement a different issuance scheme. Furthermore, anyone who can Furthermore, anyone can send coins to each other without any need for registering a username or password. All you need is an Ethereum key pair. All right. So as as before, I'm gonna I'm not gonna mm, I might read through this code because it's got a lot of a lot of commenting in it. All right. So the contract is called Coin. The keyword public makes these these variable read readable from the outside so this keyword here uh, address public minter pub mapping address uint public balances events allow light clients to react on changes efficiently event send address from address to uint amount function coin this is the constructor whose code is, runs only when the contract is created. Minter equals message sender. Function mint address receiver uint amount. If message sender not equals minter return. Balances receiver add, add the amount. Function send address receiver uint amount. If balances message sender less than amount return. Balances message sender minus the amount. Balances receiver add the amount. Send message sender receiver amount. Yeah, if I um, make any mistakes because like, I'm, you know, I'm familiar with code, but this is you know new to me. If I make any mistakes, like if I misinterpret the code, just tell me in the comment section. Um, you know, I'm intermediate in uh, coding, so we'll see how we go. All right, so this is this section is reading through the code that I just did. So what I'm going to do is, as I did before, I just I just read through it because it has a lot of commenting. Um, I might just shrink that down. I can fit it all in there. How's that? This is going to be useless on mobile phones. I apologize, but you know, maybe if 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 you're reading on a mobile phone, if you're listening to this on a mobile phone, um, oh, send me a message. I could I could trim some of the edges around and, and enlarge the code a bit. Maybe I could. Hmm. There's a lot of wasted real estate. Maybe I could just like rearrange the windows. I'll do that next time because I know that the code's going to get longer. Next one, I'm going to rearrange the windows. Maybe get rid of this, shrink it down to the code. Let's see how we go. All right, so this contract introduces some new concepts. Let us go through them one at a time. The line address public minter yeah, declares a state variable of type address that is public, publicly accessible. The address type the address type is a 160 bit value that does not allow any arithmetic operations it is suitable for storing addresses of contracts or key pairs belonging to external persons the keyword public automatically generates a function that allows you to access the current value of the state variable Without this keyword, other contracts will have no way of accessing the variable. The function will look something like this. Function minter returns address return minter. Of course, adding a function exactly like that would not work because we would have a function and a state ver variable with the same name. And what is the same name? Minter. 
yeah, return minter. But hopefully you get the idea the compiler figures that out for you. <laughs> okay. The next line mapping address uint public balances also creates a public variable, but it is more a more complex data type. The and this is this is part of the reason why I'm reading it. Why I'm reading this because I, I see this mapping and I, I see it's quite important. So pay attention. Uh, the type map addresses to unsigned integers. Mappings can be seen as a hash table, which are virtually initialized such that every possible key exists and is mapped to a value whose byte representation is all zeros. This analogy, analogy does not go too far, though, as it is near, neither possible to obtain a list of all keys of a mapping, nor a list of all values. So either keep in mind for better or better keep a list or, or use a more advanced data type. Keep in mind what you added to the mapping or use or use it in context where this is not needed like this one a getter function created by the public keyword is a bit more complex in this case it roughly looks like the following all right so this is a getter punk getter function public balances. Alright, so this is get balances function, which is yeah, it's not here. It's written here. This is an example. It's an example with an example. It's just following this get a function. So this is a get function, so it's going to return this balance and so address data type balances function balances called balances with the data type of address, which is, this is the account, which is being sent to this function. Returning a uint balance with this account, balances account, and this return balances account. Yeah, it gets the, the balance. Mm. As you can see, you can use this function to easily query the balance of a single account. So this is this is a function name, and this is a um, uh, a function. This is a uh, well, it's a function, but it, it, what the function does is it returns the balance of that account, but it's named the same as this function. I have to check that. I'm sorry, my ignorance. Well, this is why I'm learning it. Okay, so there must be a function. Is that the right word, function? Because this is a function, but this function returns the balance of that of whatever account is sent to that one. As you can see, you can use this function to easily query the balance of a single. The line address sent address from a new in amount declares a so-called event which is fired in the last line of the function sent. User interfaces as well as server applications of course can listen for those events being fired on the blockchain without much cost. As soon as it is fired the listener will also receive the argument from to an amount which makes it easy to track transactions. There's a little, um, this section here, um, I'll do a little video for that, um, which I'll link to this video. All right, so, because that's an aside from the main conversation. I've just been reading through it and realized it, it's an aside. Um, I'll do that later. Note how the automatically generated function balance is called from the user interface. Balances is called from the user interface. A special function coin is a constructor which ran during creation of the contract and cannot be 
sorry there nah. screens too I'll just shrink it down again a special function coin is a constructor for which is run during creation of a contract and cannot be called afterwards it permanently stores the address of the person creating the contract message together with TX and block it is a magical it's a magic global variable that contains some properties with which allows access to the blockchain message sender is always the address where only the functions that will actually end up with the contract and can be called by users and by contracts alike are mint and send if mint is called by anyone except the account that created the contract, nothing will happen. On the other hand, send can be used by anyone who, who already has some of these coins to send coins to anyone else. Note that if you use this contract to send coins to an address, you will not see anything when you look at that address on the Blockchain Explorer because the fact that you sent coins and the change balances are only stored in the data storage of this particular coin contract. By the use of the events, it is relatively easy to create a blockchain explorer that creates transactions and balances of your new coin.